What looks like a rural Shangri-La is actually the southeastern Massachusetts city of Taunton, more specifically the village of East Taunton. The people of East Taunton and the surrounding areas are very lucky. They have a 1,200 acre state park right in their backyard. Massasoit State Park is home to Lake Rico and Five Ponds, not to mention 100 campsites and a sprawling playground. Miles of trails crisscross Massasoit. One popular loop has views of Big Bear Hole Pond's glassy water. People love to go for walks around the ponds. You can bring a kayak or a canoe and paddle on the ponds and also go fishing at any of the ponds. Amy Wilmot is with the state's Department of Conservation and Recreation, which manages the property. Wilmot says no matter where visitors look, tranquility finds them. They can sort of leave the stress and worries of the everyday world behind and come here to spend some time out in nature. Green space is really important for all of us. Not far from the park is a famous museum you've probably never heard of. Just don't call it a man cave. I describe it as a hobby that got a little out of control. Kevin Logan is creator and curator of the East Taunton Beer Can Museum, located in his basement, naturally. You can go down a lot of rabbit holes with beer cans, believe it or not. <laughs> the Beer Can Museum is not about beer, per se. It's about the cans. There's history, oldest beer can, and art, both professional and amateur. I get a lot of donations from people that were in fraternities. I have little dollhouse cans that are marketed to dollhouse collectors. You get all kinds of creative people that will take whatever medium is there to, to craft a right. piece of art. When Logan was a teenager, his cousin gave him a few cans and an obsession was born. My favorite can. It's a Schaefer. It's a Schaefer. It's a New England can. It's not just a Schaefer, it's a World's Fair special from 1964, which is the wow. year I was born. I found it in a woman's refrigerator in her basement in 1980, and her refrigerator was still running. When Logan half-jokingly turned his collection into a museum approximately two decades ago, people paid attention. Logan even got a write-up in the Los Angeles Times. I started to get contributions from around the world. I realized it was actually evolving into an actual museum. Today, Logan owns close to 5,000 empty cans. A mere couple thousand are on display. Before COVID-19, Logan held an annual museum fest for beer can fans. Today, there's an online tour and a hall of fame. The board of directors gets together, that's me and my cat, and we discuss, you know, what can might be good to highlight on the website this year. So what's next? Logan is nearing retirement from his day job in publishing. Will he bump the beer cans from the basement to a brick and mortar? My wife always says, we well, have to find someone with a barn at the side of the interstate. Um, and you have to go there. <laughs> you have to go, yeah, exactly. It would be fun to have a public space. It's interesting history. It is Americana. It is Americana. For sure. Erica Madden is a different kind of curator. The iconic part of it, yeah, that's not going to change. Never. Not if I have anything to do with it. Madden is guardian of nostalgia at the Star Drive-In, which has been in East Taunton since 1964. I get a lot of people in now, they're in their 70s, and they tell me this was their first job. They were making ice cream here. First dates? Absolutely. Madden bought the star in 2015. After years on the corporate side of restaurants, she renovated the place, hired 25 people, and built a whole new menu. There's very little that I don't make in-house. I pride myself on fresh ingredients, sourced locally, and uh, delivered fresh daily. Lobster rolls, soups and stews, burgers with all the toppings, fried Oreos with puff pastry. I'm guessing by the tin foil coming out of here, this is not a pizza. It is not a pizza. Uh, may I? You may. <laughs> that is the star seafood platter. You have your whole belly clams, sea scallops, colossal fried shrimp, famous clam cakes, two lobster sliders. Those would be the sweetest scallops you've ever had. Those are good. Aren't they good? They like candy. Open year round, the Star Drive In has movie nights and events for car and motorcycle enthusiasts. Frequent customer Henry Leal rides with the Christian Motorcycle Association. All the groups that come here get along. It's, uh, there's family here. It's, it's just a great place to be. What's your go to? Go to? I like chowder. My customers are every walk of life. We have the blue collar guys, we have the truck drivers, um, we have the families. You got the 75 plus biker gang? Yes, absolutely. 
Star Drive-In never closed during COVID. Madden fed healthcare workers and now works six days a week grappling with all the challenges facing the restaurant industry today. But the East Taunton community continues to show up. The village is real. Do you regret it? Not for one minute. It's you the love- best thing I've ever, I abs- I'll start crying. I absolutely love it. It's the best thing I've ever done. Ever. Ever. Mm, That's great. And back to the Beer Can Museum. Kevin Logan tells us he has now officially retired from his day job. Yeah, he jokes now that he has time to dust off the cans (laughs) now that he's retired. Um, The museum is actually closed to visitors at this time due to COVID-19. And Kevin offers this tip to anyone thinking about collecting. Make sure you drain the can prior to displaying. Otherwise, the beer can chew through the aluminum. Who knew? All I right. thought you could keep beer. Yeah, Emptying the can is part of the fun part. Okay. <laughs> Up next, the fun patrol on patrol. From about 1903 until 1906, kissing was outlawed. 